welcome to Kadone Janko Wednesday's Launch Burger, Burger Edition. Edition. This week, Matthew and I, uh, for episode 80, we had to go find, track down another burger chain. We're running kind of low on burger chains here yeah. in the Montreal area. This one was controversial. A little bit. <laughs> um, we went to Valentine's. Yeah. Valentine Restaurant. Valentine Restaurant. So there's no S in it, right? Just Valentine? Uh, I believe it is Valentine. No. Um, it may, mostly a, a hot dog joint, known, known more for their hot dogs and poutines. Yeah. Um, the one we went to today, we saw there was a variety of different hot dogs and poutines. Maybe six different poutines and maybe uh, seven or eight different styles of hot dog with chicken and bacon and coleslaw. Well, there's one with sauce and cheese curds on it to sort of simulate an Italian poutine. I believe that was the Valentino. Oh. But, no, we didn't get a weird hot dog today. This is Kado and Janko wants his lunch. Burger, burger edition. edition. Not so hot dog we got edition. A, that's right. So we got a burger. Um, Matthew, do you have any thoughts, memories, feelings about Valentine restaurants? Not uh, over 100 in Quebec. I'm not giving you a, an address <laughs> for this one because there's over 100 in Quebec. Make you can your, find pick, one yourself. Pick it yourself. You yeah. know, we. Uh, I've been to a few of them. Mm-hmm. So. Me too. And they're all really uh, consistent. They are. It is a consistent franchise, unlike, uh, say, uh, Belle Province. Or Thai Express. Mm. If we're talking about things that aren't burgers. Yeah. Thai Express, uh, that is, the stuff they put into one thing is different from the stuff they put into another. Oh, really? Based on uh, yeah, how, on how large they cut their vegetables. I haven't noticed. It's a mess. Okay. Um, but what about... Belle Province. Belle Province. A similar style of products um, and also a big chain, but it would seem that um, this, I learned this uh, within the past year, Belle Province uh, is not necessarily a single chain because they were not able to get the copyright on La Belle Province because it is the motto of the province of Quebec. Oh. So anyone can open a La Belle Province and they are not necessarily related to each other. Oh, how does... So so the standards and consistency is all over the map because it's not actually all one company. So an, we could open up a Bell Province sure. and sell uh, something completely different. We can sell yep. a fried chicken. Sure. We could mimic their menu exactly but change our colors. If we wanted to. That's crazy. Isn't it? It is. Um, so Valentine is similar in style and menu but uh, I guess there's they've got more varieties and a more consistent uh, product and uh, a visual identity. Okay, so how how is it that Valentine has made the Big Ten episode cut? Uh, it is the... a chain. It's got over a hundred locations. I think that's pretty decent. Over a hundred locations isn't that's no McDonald's. It's no Burger oh, King. No, it's no certainly uh, not Dick Ann's. I mean, there's probably at least more Valentines in Quebec. Than Harvey's, yeah, and we already did Harvey's and their major burger chain. I mean, the, the the only the only sticking point for me is that Valentine's isn't necessarily a major burger chain, but they're a major chain that serves burgers. Okay, all right, well, I'll, we'll accept it just because we have to. We gotta also start finding uh, some places that are a little more reputable. We're definitely gonna have to start leaving the province. Uh, maybe I really I was counting on Dairy Queen being one of the. One doesn't the, seem like it's happening. I think we got to leave. One of the big tens. Leave the province to get some DQ burgers. Yeah. Some fan food, as their ads call it. Oh, well, that's uh, next. I was going to say next year's problem, but I'm sure we'll get to number 90. Yeah, probably. In time. That's right. Um, Matthew, it's been hot outside. You may hear from the ice clinking in my glass. Oh, yeah. It's hot. We ah. need We need ice in our glasses. Yeah. It's melting uh, fast. For some reason this year, September is ending with a heat wave. Uh, the biggest heat wave we've had all summer. It's kind of strange timing, but uh, it ruined things for some people. Ruined? Yeah. There was a, a Montreal Marathon that, oh, was, yeah, yeah. that was canceled this past weekend. Matthew, you, you went to this marathon? Like uh, They kept the shorter version of the marathon just so people could still run around if they wanted to? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think the larger one was 40 kilometers. It's quite the that marathon. is far, like the half marathon that they kept was 20 or 21 kilometers. Mm-hmm. And that is way too long for me, too. I mean, I've, I I've done a, a 5K, and that was too long. Mm-hmm. I think I ran 2.5. 
Oh, wow. And then thought that I was finishing the 5K. They're but like, really, no, that's just, the first lap. Yeah, there's, there were two laps. And I was like, oh, I'm done. And I, <laughs> I passed out in the woods. <laughs> what do you mean in the woods? It was around, uh, it was in the woods we were running. Okay. Something in high school. I like, was on the uh, track team. Okay. Because they needed people to make it a team. Oh, got it. Um, so I was like, yeah, I can run. I'm always late for school. I'll run. Uh, and then I just, I, I gave it my all. <laughs> what do you mean you passed out in the woods? I just ran off the course and uh, jumped into the into the forest and made myself a little home in a bed of leaves. <laughs> took <laughs> did a nap. You, did you, you really took a nap? My legs were like jelly. Oh, boy. It's, it's because I didn't pace myself because I thought, it's like, mm. ah, everybody is running so slowly and I can see the finish line. I'm going to win this thing. <laughs> and then um, I run across and they're like, real good, halfway there. And I'm like, no. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Now, Matthew, you went to another, an actual marathon yeah. this weekend. Just to, just to spectate. You're just a viewer. Yeah. So when you're the viewer for a marathon, do you not just like see about a minute of the race? Yeah, basically. You Well, you want to position yourself at the end of the race. I think mm-hmm. you want to see the people finish the race. Yeah. Uh, or you can stand so they're running towards you, so they don't run past you. But it's like if you go to NASCAR... I it's su- no fun. Well, no, I, I su- you're, you're just watching cars zoom past you. Yeah, yeah. So, what were you doing there? Uh, well, there's a concert. It, it was. I'm there for the rock and roll, Sebastian. This was the the. Man, what Montre- are you saying? It was a rock and roll oasis marathon. What does that mean? Montreal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it sounds. Doesn't that sound cool and, and a rock also and roll refreshing? oasis marathon? Yeah, sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Now the oh, the rock and roll. It was moist. They were doing a live show, obviously. Oh, the free band show. moist. The band moist. I yeah. thought we were talking about the humidity. A- appropriate band name mm. for the occasion. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the earliest shows too. So this was a rock and roll event that happened at around eleven in the morning. Ugh. Because ha- happening later on the day it was too hot. It's too early for rock and roll. Yeah, so too early for running too. Too early for running twenty k. Um, and the oasis part of this, which made it sound like a, sounds like, like Eden, you know you're you know? exactly. I'm imagining like uh, some palm trees and some like maybe a pool or something. Some 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 something you could swim in. Yeah, and rock and roll. Exactly. So you run a marathon, then just jump in a pool and listen to some rock and roll. It sounds amazing. Yeah. Uh, instead of that, it was turns out it was just sponsored by Oasis, the uh, the juice brand. Oh, well, I like those juices. They gave out some free juice. Now, was it were they giving juice boxes or like those full liters? Both. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And some juices I ain't never heard of before, like, like what? Uh, lemonade. What do you, what, 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 do you, what do you mean? I had lemonade today. <laughs> yeah, but have you ever had an Oasis lemonade? In a uh, one I liter I, box? I, I guess just never I can't say I have, but there you go. I'm not c- commonly buying lemonade, so I I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, the thing, too, is that they had ordered all this stuff, massive amounts. Because it wasn't just it wasn't just Oasis juice they were giving out, Sebastian. My sister had uh, messaged me beforehand, being like, bring luggage, bring duffel bags. Bring, bring, bring luggage. Yeah, bring, bring tons of... Uh, empty bags mm-hmm. because they're going to be giving away stuff and it's just it's just yours for the taking and I was like I don't want to be this greedy little hamster just take, <laughs> taking all the sunflower seeds for myself stuffing them in my cheeks I'm gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna bring any bags okay uh, I almost regret it because there was a lot of free stuff Sebastian what other other than juice what were they giving out uh, yogurt oh no yeah on a hot day yeah when to... it's a hot day and you just run a marathon that's exactly what you want a bunch <laughs> of yogurt <laughs> exactly oh, terrible uh and noodles i think a bunch of noodles. noodles like boxes of noodles uh spaghetti noodles linguine noodles you name it really yeah not like ramen noodles like no. just a sack of pasta yeah like catelli like uh really just hand them out i mean i guess if you're doing a lot of running you can like carbo load but maybe not <laughs> after the run yeah, I don't know. It was weird because you you see people walking around with boxes of like uh, shipping boxes for Oasis. I guess uh-huh. the ones that like twenty four of them come in, and yeah. they were just filled with juice and all the noodles they could grab <laughs> uh, because they canceled this. They canceled the marathon, the, big the race. full marathon. Yeah, yeah, the big marathon. But they had already got all the juice and all the noodles. Mm. Now they gotta get rid of it all because okay. no one wants to lug it back. Yeah, I suppose not. So, uh, so you lug it back. Yeah, but then I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I'll I'll pay a buck for my noodles. 
Yeah. Noodles don't and cost I'll pay much. a buck for my juice. Uh, they're buck juices. Yeah. Buck noodles, buck juices. Um, and yogurt. So you didn't get any juice or, or noodles, ultimately? <laughs> uh, I did, but I gave, it, I gave it to my sister. Cause oh, she okay. had you know, a big hockey bag full of, full of room. There you go. So she'll be having noodles for, for the next couple of years. So your sister participated in the run? She did. She wasn't just scavenging juice and noodles like you were? <laughs> I, I feel like she may have just participated in the run to get the juice <laughs> to get and noodles. Juice and noodles. Uh, um, how'd she do? Well, she got a lot of juice, a lot of noodles. <laughs> I met in the race. Oh, <laughs> it was a pretty good haul. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I didn't ask. What do you mean? You, weren't you present? <laughs> I got there a little late. Oh, okay. I was like, uh, yeah, I'm just waking up. I'll head over. He's like, oh, finish the race. Where are you? I'm oh, like, really? Oh, wow. Yeah, it finished real early. I thought they were moist. I thought was going to play for the the end of the race, where uh-huh. it's like if you were finishing, uh, you you'd you come, come in running like halfway into a through. concert. Yeah. But no, they started maybe half an hour after the race ended. Oh, weird. So, oh wow, yeah, that's I, an early race. Yeah, and I was walking up like I'm, I'm probably not actually. If you're a runner, I feel like you probably wake up and run in the morning. Yeah, you probably live a pretty active and healthy lifestyle. Yeah, nothing, nothing like my lifestyle. <laughs> Matthew, the other day, I uh, I had a very shameful day. I went out uh, one evening and had a few drinks with some uh, some former coworkers of mine caught up a little bit and i don't know why but it just it hit me like a ton of bricks the next morning morning uh the next noon i woke up oh, okay so. quite quite hung over um and i got up from my couch and didn't feel very well and lied back down and after about a half hour i worked up the courage to go get a glass of water worked up the courage well not the courage the the chutzpah the the energy i just like my stomach didn't feel well and so just I mean, getting up to go get a glass of water was quite the undertaking. I mean, I've been to your place. It's it's it won't take you that long. It's oh, not a trek. Oh no, it's mere feet, <laughs> feet away. Um, but uh, yeah, I I lied on the couch. I opened my laptop and I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna order some pizza. Tried to get Pizza Hut. They won't deliver it to me. I could walk to the Pizza Hut in like a half hour, but they won't deliver it to me. Pizza Hut's a weird. Uh, yeah, they weird they thing. just I don't they they had a location that. I was just out of range. Mm-hmm. They opened a much closer location. I'm just out of range. Yeah. I don't know why they don't like my postal code. Me too. I have to actually walk to the street corner when I order really? Pizza Hut. So weird. Yeah. And that's even you're even closer. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so I went back to uh, Trusted Domino's. I've accumulated some points with Domino's. <laughs> I think I'm a couple pizzas away from getting a free pizza. A very avid pizza eater. Yeah. <laughs> and not really. The last time I ordered from Domino's was February. Um, okay. That's still, you know, that's quite some time ago. Yeah, it is what, what the end the, of September. What was the quantity of pizza? Oh, uh, probably two. All right. All it right. was probably very similar order to what I had this time. Okay, two pizzas. Um, two pizzas. I saw on the website, I just, I was in the mood for two different pizzas. You um, can half a pizza. Half this, half that. I didn't even You don't think have to that. get double pizza all On the, the time. website, it wasn't clear that I could do half half. I think I'd have to phone call for that. Hmm. But I was also... <laughs> have to speak to somebody. Yeah, yeah. And I was too hungover. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I filled out the website and I was like, oh, you could get a thin crust pizza. You could get a pan pizza. I'll get one of each. Um, hmm. And uh, I picked out all my toppings. I checked for a coupon code. I saved $8. And then I was like, oh, what are these little chicken nugget things? Yeah, yeah, I'll get those too, covered in cheese and barbecue sauce. That sounds great. I hate you, 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 you approach this with like a, a scientific uh, point of view. It's like, what are these things? Oh, I, I should check them out. I should figure It's like, you know full well what they are. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've you had just... them before. <laughs> I've had exactly the, those things before. Yeah. Um, and while I was ordering the pizza, I figured, well, two medium pizzas, you know, I'll eat some now and we'll have some tomorrow or whatever. Yeah. And, uh, uh, it said feeds two to four people. And I was like, well, I guess I'll have two of those, which should just feed four to eight people. I think that's a fair amount of food for me. <laughs> um, and I guess I was hung over and was early enough in the day that I was like, well, at least this will be both my meals for today. So I got the pizza. I lied down on the couch, put on some Netflix. How much was this pizza? Sorry. I spent about 50 bucks on pizza. With- 